Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today, in this episode, we are going to start implementing the register function by designing the UI, creating the component, and creating the required models. Uh, today, we will start by creating models first in the shared uh, library project. Uh, we will see how we will do this step by step. So, let's get started. The first thing that I will do is to go for the website API. I'll go to the API documentation. Okay. From using Swagger, I can check all the models that I have and the schema of each one in addition to the endpoints. Now, I will work with authentication API slash auth slash register. I will click here. Okay. Here you can see the request and the response. The request here is of type user manager response. You can see here is all the uh, fields required or the object. If I click here, I can see the schema. It's a register request, consists of email, and this is the validation, first name, last name, password, and confirm password. So I will go to the Visual Studio and I will start implement that from scratch. So you, you can learn how I have, where I got those properties and the validations. I will create a model called register first. I will create a folder called models. Okay, add new class, call it register request. Okay, I will mark the class as public, then I will add the required properties depending on what we have seen and the information that we got from Swagger. Okay, public string email, get set and set the validation for that, it's required. Install the package system.componentModel.annotations find and install the latest version okay done also we have a string length 50 and email address validation this way what we have also is a string first name it's required and string length 50 last name and password and confirm password this is password and this is confirm password Now we have a model that's similar. Uh, first name and last name are 25, not 50, 25, and 25 here. So the first model is ready. The register request. Now the second one is I will check the response. What do we have in the response? The response, this is the shape of it. It's about message, it returns uh, two type of responses produces two types the first one with a code 200 and the second one with 400 but both return the same uh, object it has a message a success uh, array of errors array of string and an expired date this is for the access token in the login because I think the uh, login and register uh, return the same type okay that's it so here, if I go to the schema, nice. Let's create an object called user manager response. So I will click on models, add class, user manager response, Hit add, mark it as public, and create the properties. String message, get 
set. No need to apply validations here because we will receive this object. We won't send it. Okay, so pool is success get set public. We had an array of strings called errors. Also, an expired date. Time because but this one is nullable because uh, the register doesn't return an expired date for the access token. The access token only returns in uh, the login operation. So it's called expire date get and set. So this is everything all the model that we need for the register operation. Let me save this one and save this one as well. Okay. I will check if I haven't referenced the planner app that shared in our Placer app. I can click on add dependencies, add reference, projects, and choose planner app that shared. Add OK. Uh, projects and here is planner app dot shared we have referenced it successfully okay the next step is to create the register components in the pages and um, set the ui element um, the the fields input register button and the third step is to, uh, to implement uh, the register functionality by sending an http request for the server and receive the user manager response, which will indicate if the user has been created or no. So in the next video, we will start designing and creating the register component in the pages. Stay tuned.